Cyberpunk 2077 has one of the best, most robust photo modes I've ever used. When a game world is this beautiful, it demands a photo mode. I couldn't imagine this game without it. And then on top of it being so great with the options and everything you can do within it. So, I mean, just look at what's on your screen right now. It's stunning. There are so many photo-worthy moments you can find just by exploring the world. And photo mode is a great way to capture that. And in fact, let's take a picture so this will last longer. And to do that, I'm going to click in on L3 and R3 at the same time. Well, speaking of stunning, hello V. <laughs> So, by default, the camera type will start at Drone, and we will get back to this side of it. And in fact, before we move on, I'd like to say that I hope you are nice and comfortable, and I hope you're in no rush to go anywhere, because we're going to go over all of the options there are available for you in photo mode. And maybe you're interested in photo mode, or you're just curious to see what it's about, or maybe you've already clicked away. I can't help you if you've done that, because you're gone. But for the others, I'm here to help. But this is an ASMR video, and we're in no rush. We're going to take it nice and slow. Okay. So, I'm going to go over from drone to first person perspective. And if I click in on R3, I can hide the UI. So, if you want to get that photo, Okay, and you can see on the left, I've already taken a photo here. Took me another take because fun times in my apartment. Let's take another one. So, <laughs> um, the nice thing about this, I've had plenty of games where you take a photo from first person view and you can't move the camera. That's not the case in Cyberpunk. You can move to the left. You can move to the right, you can move down, and you can pan up. And a great range at that. So I love that option because sometimes you get that photo and you just, you're not quite at the angle you want it. You can just adjust it as you need to. Now if I click R3 again, bring up the UI, and we're going to go back to the drone. Say hello to V. Now you'll see there are a few options, menu options. There's the camera, depth of field, Pose, Effect, Stickers, and then a Load and Save uh, feature. So, I'm going to go back to camera. Right off the bat, you see they have a preset, Customization. Obviously, that's when you are the one customizing the way it looks. But they do have nine different presets for you to look at and the nice thing about that is that even if you don't necessarily use the preset it can maybe help you with a starting point or give you an idea 
of a shot you didn't think about. So let's look through them. Here's preset one, preset two, preset three, four, Six, seven, eight, and nine. And there you are. Now, let's go back to eight. See, that's an, uh, an example of a pretty good one, I'd say. It gives you a little bit different uh, idea. Well, they all do, really. Let's go to custom. Below it, you'll see field of view. Oh yeah, okay. Let me back up here. Obviously, just like in first person, you have control of the camera, so you can rotate it around to the left, to the right, and by the way, you can do all the way around. You can tilt down, tilt up, you can put the camera all the way back, or you can get nice and close, okay, don't get any ideas, you can move the camera up with R2, down with L2, and with the field of view, let me back up a little, the standard start at 60, you can scale that back to 90, as you can see, gives a different perspective for sure. You see, you get more. You can get more in that frame with that 90. And it has a little bit of a you know, fish lens to it. And then you can move it all the way up to 15. And you can get real close. I mean, real close. You're not going to win this staring contest. So, 15 for portraits. It's a beautiful feature. Absolutely love that. And you can rotate as well. Let me move that back to zero. And just for now, I'm going to take the field of view back to, let's say, 25. All right, and now if I press R1, we have our depth of field options. By default, it's enabled. And I'm going to click R3 to get, hide that. As you can see, V in the foreground, she's in focus. The background is blurred a little bit. And if I press on the right D-pad, I can turn that off. And now everything is in focus. Depending on what you want to do with your photo, you can use it like that. Now let's turn it back on. And then this is with autofocus, so you can also turn autofocus off. You can adjust the focus distance yourself. So scale it. You can see she comes in a little more clear and you can adjust the aperture so that determines how blurry the background could be. Starts at four and get down to 1.2 and you can scale that all the way up to 26, I think it is. No, 60, 60. 
and obviously it's almost like you've turned off uh, the depth of field with that. But let me turn around. So, for instance, if you wanted, you could have it where maybe you want the background to be in focus and you want V to kind of be more blurry. So you have that kind of option. Okay, let's go back here. And by the way, no, you're not crazy. Her right arm is a little darker. She has gorilla arms. But that's not an insult. That's a cyberware. And I'm going to bring that back to oh, about there. But I'm going to keep autofocus on for now. Turn aperture to 5.6 so we get a little bit more of that background. And that's your depth of field. And if we press R1, here's where the fun begins. As you can see, we have multiple options. And the nicest one, I think, is say that you wanted to get your character from this side, but oh no. She's facing that way. Luckily, if we go down, we can rotate V. A complete 180. So now we have some of those buildings in the background. Right? And not only that, you can move her left or right. Now, I'm curious myself, if we move her all the way to the right, does she go off the edge? <laughs> she does. <laughs> there we go. So that's an option for you. You can live on the edge right there. Now I'm going to move her safely back. And then um, you can also move it closer, right? And these options, everything's so layered within this photo mode that I feel they really give you a lot of great tools to get the photo you want. I'm surprised. There are some games I've played where, my goodness, they do not give you a lot of options. So anyway. Also, scale this back, you can turn your character visibility on or off. And that's definitely useful if you want to, say you want to get this background, but you don't want your character in it. So just another great feature. Now below, we have two different categories of poses for V to use. Idle and action. And again, I hope you're sitting nice and comfortably, because we're going to go through all of them. So, the first one they start you on on, today at least, <laughs> is cover shot. Stop, police. Roundhouse shot to the face. Cool. Let me just adjust that. V shot first. Of course, Han Solo reference. Be cool. This is a robbery. Eat lead. Down with gravity. Cyber yoga. Hold my beer which is just a, an awesome pose. Love it. Crouching Punk, Hidden Samurai. Off to the races. 
Night City Strut, which is really nice. Great walk-in pose. Just a peek. Game over. The floor is lava. Easter up right. Take cover right. Ease drop left. Take cover left. Oh my god, they killed V. You bastards. With an assault rifle. With an LMG. With a precision rifle. With a revolver. With a shotgun. With a double barrel shotgun. With an SMG. With a sniper rifle. Sniper. Very cool prone shot. And if you look below, you can turn that muzzle flash on. So really give it a, a pop. She is the one. It's also pretty awesome that I'm on a roof for that. Of course, Matrix. When the street hits back. And there you go. That's all of the action poses. Now if we go back up. Go to idle. There are a lot more options in idle, starting with Tabula Rosa. What can I get you? Come here, gonk brain. Show that to you. See the finger. Peace and love. Don't even. Serious dude. What do we have here? Sir, yes, sir. Dead end, amigo. Waiting for Godot. That's a nice one if you're perched up against the wall. This is very cool. Who's number one? Want to try me? Like one of your French girls. I'll never let go. The pensive philosopher. She's got a cigarette in her hand. Break time. Last drag before the gig. I think that's a pretty cool one, too. In the name of the moon, I'll punish you. I have no idea what reference that is, but it's something for sure. V's Bizarre Pose. Need a breather? I love this one. This is very chill. Slav squat. Now that'd be a really good one for the edge of buildings looking over, you know. You're breathtaking. Now, of course, this is a reference to when, uh, I forgot what, it's like a game show, award show, something video game related. Uh, Keanu Reeves comes out on stage. Someone in the crowd yells out, You're breathtaking. Keanu Reeves, being the awesome human that he is, responds back, You're breathtaking. And that was the exact stance he had. 
So that's just awesome that they added that. And then you can do your Drake meme, hard pass. Now you're talking. Got a problem? Joker's stairs. Of course, obviously, Joker reference. For the glory of the mother. On the trail, V for victory. Run the jewels. I wonder who that's referencing. Selfie time. Talk to the hand. With a baseball bat. I know Kung Fu. Another Keanu reference. With a hammer. My name is V. Just V. With a katana. I love this one. Just. With a knife, you call that a knife. Knuckle sandwich with an LMG, <laughs> with a melee weapon that is a huge machete, with a precision rifle, with a revolver. With a rifle, with a shotgun, with a double barrel shotgun, with an SMG, with a sniper rifle, alt circa 2020. And, uh, I mean, come on, it's pretty hot. Black. Mastodon. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Black Mastodon. Blue Triceratops. Sorry, if you see jumps in these videos, it's because either there's a loud car driving by, or my neighbors are using the water pipes. So those pipes just kill the. They make a lot of noise. Obviously, um, Power Rangers, Blue Triceratops, Face Palm, which is a great one. I mean, that just, I feel like there's a lot of uh, ways you could use that. So I like that pose a lot. Rhapsody of a Rocker Boy. Obviously, Freddie Mercury. A pretty good one as well. Cold blooded soldier. Elvis lives. I know. Thank you very much. Ready for war. Check the set, baby. V's Bazaar Bujanero. I'm just gonna give up on that. I do not know how to pronounce that. All right. V's Bazaar Gesture. And I like that one. Gives um, just a bit of different personality. V's Bazaar Step. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're welcome, boys. <laughs> V's bizarre pickup line. It's a pretty fun one. 
Hawaiian King's Energy Blast. Probably Dragon Ball Z, or maybe Naturo. I don't know. Someone will know. From Korea with Love. Show me the money. It's a cool boss. Fortune and Long Live. Which is obviously a play on live long and prosper. I heart Night City. One of my favorite poses because I don't know, just displays a really cool image. Chromatic. Fucking wrong. Mind blown. Good vibes only. I like that one too. Thunder War. Fire Warrior Water Warrior Lunar Warrior That's a great one Love Warrior Let me grab Let me grab the pop that's a great one. Great one. Red Tyrannosaurus. The Red Ranger. Power Rangers. You know what? I'm going to adjust my camera a bit. Unleash your inner silver hand. Referring to Johnny Silverhand, obviously. Think smart. Another meme inspired one. Knight City. Knight City. Scout Salute. This one is very just strong, so I really like it for that. Indian Sweetheart. I like when we get multiple uses of the peace symbol in poses, so I like this one. When lightning strikes, I promise it's going to hurt. And then a distracted girlfriend. So, it's hilarious. You ready for this? Yellow saber tooth tiger. And there we have it. Those are all the poses. But, this is also quite a unique feature. If I go up to character, you see V. If I hit right, there's nibbles. And if I turn nibbles on, which sounds really weird now that I say it, you can see there's a cat. I'm going to rotate him so that he's with V. Now, even Stray, a game that features a cat in a cyberpunk world, doesn't have this feature, the ability to take a photo in photo mode of a cat in a cyberpunk city. You can only get that in Cyberpunk 2077. Unless, of course, they've patched Stray 
and added a photo mode. Could happen. Don't know. Anyway, Nibbles, just like his counterpart, V, also has both idle and action poses. And yes, we're going to go through. Of course we have. Patrol in the streets. Tippy toes. Right turn. Sneaky right turn. Left turn. Sneaky left turn. Worship me. Stretchy. Bellies off limits. Pat, pat. Face grooming. Paw grooming. Food's here. We'll go back up to idle. Play with me, human. Nope right, nope left. Hold on, I need to do that ASMR style, right? Nope right, nope left. But what is this? Give me that tree. Is that a bird? Is that a mouse? Maxin relaxin Z Z Z Shrimpy Cat Shrimpy Cat mm. See that's the thing. The camera always revolves around you. That's why the camera's kind of doing this thing where it kinda of hits these invisible walls. Anyway, all aboard the snooze train. So, we'll leave him on. Go back to V. Now, something you might have noticed is that hold on, I'm going to increase. Zoom in with my field of view here. Trying to make sure. There we go. So, you can also add expressions to your character. Starting at neutral, going to charm, going to fury, boredom. Satisfaction, disgust, happiness, fear, surprise, sadness, whistling. Now this one is definitely going to depend on what you've done with your character. Some of these builds with the cyberware and all of that. There's a lot of different faces people can make in Cyberpunk. And then, if I go down, I can look into the camera. And then, if I move the camera, yeah, she'll follow. And even, her character won't turn around. So, she won't always look into the camera, technically, but again, the cool thing about that, see how she moved? So let's say she's looking this way, get a click in. So if I turn it off, yeah, that's how she's looking. If I turn it on, even though she's not looking at it, it changes. So it's almost like giving you another pose, an adjustment to a pose. 
So I really like that. And obviously, geez, sorry. when you're doing like a portrait style, you know, let me turn it off. It's very different when she's not looking at the camera versus when you do. I mean, as humans, we make eye contact, or we should, we're supposed to. We don't always. Sometimes we get shy. Anyway, having that option, super nice. There are some game modes, photo modes that I've played in games where you don't get these options. So I really love Cyberpunk's photo mode. And I'm so glad that it is very layered. Now, I'm going to move this camera, let's go to 35, okay, now, uh, let's go to, yeah, <laughs> let me grab the pop close. Now, if we press R1, we can go to the effects where we can adjust the exposure, the contrast, highlights, vignette, chromatic, aberration, grain, and effect, which is basically like a filter. Now the nice thing about that, so we have that sun kind of beating on us, right? If you turn the highlights down, that can help with that turn it up, you can overexpose it if that's what you want to do, but turning the highlights down is a pretty nice way to help with uh, if your photo has too much sun in it, I feel. Contrast, you bump that up, you see, if you go, don't go overboard like that, but you can, but obviously that'll help with adding darkness into your photo. Same with exposure, you can really blow it out, or you can turn it really far down, you know. I mean, now we can even see that sun. <laughs> and typically, and I don't know if this is the best way, because I try to keep it minimal, but when I export, when I do take a photo, I usually just bump exposure up to like four or five, contrast to two, and I take highlights down to about eight, depending on, like, everything depends on the time of day you're shooting, where you're shooting, what kind of shot you're going for, you know, all of that. But as a rule of thumb, that's typically kind of what I do. I bump up exposure a good amount, contrast a little bit, and highlights I usually do half or a little bit more in the opposite direction of exposure. That made it sound more confusing when I just said it. Basically, when I add exposure, I usually take a double the other way on highlights. I'm just walking myself further into making that sound more complicated. You get it. You get it. Vignette, obviously. If you're really going for that, you know, you can do it now in the photo mode. But really, I would suggest doing that outside of the game in a photo app. Chromatic aberration, I don't touch that ever, but here's what it does. You can kind of see more if you bump it up, how it kind of adds that warped. If you look to the left side of your screen, kind of has that warped feeling to it. But anyway, yeah, I just, I never touch it. Grain as well, never touch it. 
You can add a lot of noise to your photo if you want. And now we go to effect. And I won't go through all of them. Not because there's a lot, but because the last few of them are really bright, like super saturated, and it might hurt your eyes. So I don't want to do that to you. But we can see it has a kind of green filter. It's kind of blue steel. This one's all right. This one has like a vintage feel. Kind of like that one sometimes, actually. You can get that samurai red. Okay. I'm gonna go back. There's one that is a, it's a cyberpunk yellow. And I'm not gonna show it because, again, it's just super intense. And I don't want to hurt your eyes. So now, that's all for the effects, and if we go over, we have options for stickers, frame, and the background. I want to go through the background first. Now watch what this does. <laughs> right? This is really, I don't know what it depends on. Maybe it's where she is. Yeah, okay. Because I rotated her. Good lord, okay. But the lighting is vastly different from the end game. And also, that makes such a difference where She looks so different. This one's kind of a bad one to judge it on, but uh, it's more backgrounds, right? Like, look, that lighting is really nice with this background. I wish you could use this kind of lighting in the in-game one. And then, of course, there's 37 different frames. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'll show you a few. Yeah. Kind of gives you that cyberpunk yellow, cyberpunk red, white. And if we go back, kind of have the widescreen, widescreen of white, ultra widescreen. Kind of a square image, circle. And that's pretty cool. Look at that. Boom. That easy to take a photo. So, yeah. Well, let's leave it on that. And then stickers. Whew. When photo mode was first introduced, well, it came with the game. Oh my god, you had to scroll, like in the frame, one by one for photos, for stickers. It was horrendous. Especially because I don't really use photos too much anyway. But now, it's much nicer. And you can add up to ten stickers on your photo if you want. And if we click on that, you can see, so we have like sticker stickers, like just kind of goofy looking ones. And if you're watching this on an iPhone or a smartphone, whew, good luck. <laughs> they're very tiny. Even for me right now, I can, they're very tiny. But we go down, we have more of kind of a doodle drawing style. Different uh, cyberpunk logos. And then kind of a warning 
sort of related stickers. We got effect stickers, and then different companies: Militech, Arasaka, and CPD. Some more company ones, and then we have gang-related stickers like the Sixth Street Gang, the animals, and then different establishments, the mocks, and then our tarot cards, and we have a few new ones from the Edge Runners um, anime show. So you can add these. So for instance, you know, there are some people that think this game is a zero out of ten. You can make that small, big, or small. But you can't go any bigger or any smaller than that. Now, even though I don't use stickers a lot, or really ever in my photos, I don't know. Like, you should be able to blow that up on the entire screen, in my opinion. But, eh, it's not an option. So then, you can add another sticker. And this is where you can start to really be creative and confuse your audience. Because you'd be, oh, well, you know what? It's actually a 10 out of 10. And then I can add something for the fellows here. You're welcome. I can add a cool foreign language cyberpunk logo. Either Japanese or Chinese, I do not know. I'm sure someone in the comments will know. Let me know. And then, well, you know, I'm a street kid. Gotta represent. I'm sure that one you can get pretty big. Right? Put it right here. Then you can go down. And you can add, you know, like a big warning. There's a lot of yellow in this photo. That's what the warning is for. And then you can add like bullet holes, you know, like, oh man, someone just, someone just shot this camera. Because you can, you can just keep adding up to 10, you know, so you can pretend like this is uh, on a newscast or something, if you want. There you go. And we're not done. We're not done yet. Say you really like the afterlife, you can support them. Shout out to Afterlife. And if we go all the way down. And we can add the Edge Runner's kid. Or we can add them onto this. Oh no. Yeah, that's right. They're layered. Reverse order like that. Well, you can put it a good head on your shoulders right there. There you go. Boom. Now, wouldn't that? That would be a hell of a thumbnail. <laughs> and as you can see, I haven't updated this since uh, the first day. If you're in America, that looks like October 12th. No, it's in reverse. That's December 10th. I was very excited to make this because I love the photo mode. I wanted to share this with you. That is photo mode for Cyberpunk 2077. Please like, subscribe to see more.